Hi, I'm Bernie with Condi Systems, and today we're going to be making a glass floor tile. First, the items you'll need today are a blank tile or series of tiles, however large you're going to be covering your floor. The image you'd like to display, you'll notice that it is printed the same way it's going to show through the tile. You will not want to mirror or reverse your image when you print it on your computer. I have gloves because the glass gets very hot from the press. Heat tape. You'll need a Nomex felt pad, green rubber pad, and a couple sheets of protective paper. What we're going to do first is align our tile with our image. You'll notice that the side we're going to be sublimating is a glossy white and then on top we have the textured tempered glass. So I'll put the white side directly on top of my image and secure it down with heat tape. Place a couple pieces of heat tape on the tile. With our final piece of heat tape in place, we're ready to move to our press. You want to be sure to adjust your pressure ahead of time with the glass tile, felt pad, and rubber pad because that will change your pressure greatly on your press. You'll place your felt pad first. Take a sheet of protective paper, place that over the felt. Grab my glass tile, have the image facing down. One more sheet of protective paper. And the last thing we'll place is our green rubber pad. You'll want to be sure to check out Condi's website for our instructions on how to press your glass tiles. They do change as our products and equipment change. And today I'm using Condi's instructions. Glass does take a while. One of the great things about the glass floor tiles is they use tempered glass. So if they should break, they're not going to have any sharp edges. You'll notice that when you're doing your floor, if you have certain pieces that aren't going to fit a whole tile, you'll need to use a different type of glass that can be cut. You'll be sure to call your Condi agent and they'll be able to help you get those tiles you need so you can cut them and make your floor look great. And that sound means we're done. So I'll lift and swing away on my press. Remember, this is going to be very hot. So I'll grab some gloves. We'll want to be sure to remove our transfer right away and then allow enough time for our glass to cool. And remember, when we view this image, we're going to be looking through the glass. So it won't look as bright as you're used to when you pull off a sublimated image because it's going to be on the exact opposite side. And that turned out really well. Let it cool on the table, and that should be complete. I've given enough time for my glass tile to cool. And while I was waiting, I grabbed another tile just to give you ideas of the different images you can use. Again, you'll want to be sure to call your Condi representative and they'll be able to help you with doing corners for a certain sized room and also how to lay your glass tile. They'll be able to give you all the details about what type of mortar you'll want to use and dry times. This is a great product. It's a very great creative use of space and it will look great in your home or office. Be sure to visit us at condi.com for all of our press instructions, your time, temperature, and pressure. They do change as our products and equipment change. You'll also want to see our full line of great services and products we offer at condi.com. Be sure to watch more of my videos at condi.tv.com. I'm Brittany Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us.